Hello and welcome. This is a complete guide to show you how to forward ports with the Virgin Media Hub 3 for your Xbox, PS4 and pretty much any other device too. Port forwarding on the Hub 3 works using IP addresses, which is a numeric address assigned to your Xbox or PS4. By default, the Hub 3 will assign these IP addresses dynamically, which means that just because your PS4 has an IP address today, it may have a different IP address tomorrow. So we need to assign an IP for your device and make sure that it does not change. Before we can do this though, there is a problem with the Hub 3. On release, the Hub 3 was in a terrible condition and was extremely broken in a number of areas. Two of these areas are IP reservation and port forwarding. These are the two key features we need in order to complete this tutorial. A firmware release is supposedly being rolled out by region, but at the time of this recording, many Virgin Media customers, including myself, are left with a Hub 3 with the broken version. To check this, we need to confirm the firmware version of your router. Log into your router and click on Admin and Info. Here you will see a list of details specific to your router. We need to check the software version. If your hardware version is 10 and your software version is 9.1.88T, then unfortunately you have the broken version and this tutorial might not work for you. By all means, please do continue with the tutorial and let us know in the comments section if it did or did not work, as that could be really helpful for somebody else. If you have hardware version 10 and software version 9.1.88J5 or above, then you already have the necessary firmware update and this tutorial should work fine for you. So make sure your device is switched on and connected to your router, then log into your Hub 3 and go to Wireless and DHCP, which stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. If your device is already connected, and it should be, find it in the DHCP lease table and click the appropriate radio button next to your device. If you cannot identify your device easily, you will need to obtain your MAC address directly from your device. Take note of the MAC address in column 2. Simply remembering the last four digits is often enough. Then scroll down to the Add Reserved Rule section located at the bottom of the page and ensure that your MAC address matches. Click on Add Rule and be patient. The Hub 3 should confirm that it is applying changes. When it has completed, and this might take an exceptionally long time, you should see that the MAC address appears in the reserved list table below. Sometimes however, the Hub 3 will not successfully add the device to the list, but it won't give you any reason for that either. Simply click on Add Rule again. If the device continues to fail, you might need to wait for the new firmware release before you can actually reserve an IP. This will most likely mean that you will need to wait for the firmware release before you can successfully port forward to. If we cannot reserve the IP address, then this might still work, but you will run the risk of the IP changing and the port forwarding we apply will require updating each time that happens. Sorry, that's just another Hub 3 quirk, I guess. Port forwarding now. Return to the main menu or simply click on Advanced Settings, Security and then Port Forwarding. To enter a new port forwarding rule, enter the IP of your device in the local IP box provided. Now, there are different ports for the PS4, Xbox and Plex devices, so I will show you the recommended items in a moment. First, I will show you how the process works. The local start and local end ports will be the same. 
So in this example, I am port forwarding port 80. The same applies for the external ports. Select both and enable and click Add. This should apply changes and you should see confirmation of that in the port forwarding table at the bottom of the page. OK, we're nearly there. Just one last step required. According to multiple sources, you will also need to turn on the firewall for the router in order for port forwarding to work. Click on Advanced Settings, Security and Firewall. And make sure that IPv4 Firewall Protection is enabled. So that is it guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that this helps you out. Please hit the like button and if you would like to see more then subscribe. Here are the ports that you need. Bye bye for now.